Hi, this is Big Dogs Porton, and today we have a before video, before flow test video of an Edelbrock Performer 2 RPM intake manifold for the small block Ford. Okay, this manifold, as you see, it has a broken tab, but we're going to go ahead and fix that broken tab for the customer for free. Um, this manifold also will be receiving our um, matte black tough skin epoxy ceramic coating um, as well as our stage two upper and lower port. Now, um, we're going to do this before video to show you guys, if you guys are curious um, what these manifolds flow uh, in factory form out the box. Now, this manifold has been sandblasted already. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do the before flow test. And we're going to test this runner. And we also um, will test some other runners for our average flow numbers. But we're not going to... Uh, video all of those because it's kind of time consuming. That's one of the things you guys really don't understand about our porting is what you get, what you get on our porting, and why it takes so long. You know, first of all, we do a general cleaning on everything that comes in that typically, you know, involves either a a dip in the solution um, bath with a high pressure high temperature um, cleaning. It's just a general cleaning. It's not like a 45 minute hot tank um, cleaning. We do offer that, but that's extra. So everything that I'm going to, you know, tell you guys, it's free. So we do a general cleaning. We do a disassembly. We do an inspection so we can find things like this, you know, broken ear or tabs that may be broken or whatever. And with the Explorer GT40 manifolds, we perform several cosmetic modifications that is free. Okay. We knock off the um, tab on the back of the upper and we smooth that down. We also chase all of the bolt um, threads. So pretty much everything, we chase all the threads. We chased all of these threads to make sure the threads are okay. So we chased those. Uh, on the Explorers, we also uh, take off the oil baffle. And we clean that underneath. So that gets, you know, pressure washed and also sandblasted. And we put those back on after, you know, we um, clean them. Um, we also um, chase all of the holes like for instance this one we make sure we chase those holes on the manifolds okay so we do that we do all that standard it's free we don't charge you guys for those things but it takes time you know so when we get these manifolds we're not just porting them and painting them it's a lot of things that's involved with these manifolds that takes time okay then we do a before flow test so we set up and we flow each runner bolted together you know we flow ours bolted together not the lowers by themselves because we don't just port the lowers other porters they just port the lowers and may do a little gasket matching um if that on the uppers and mind you our port work is very aggressive it's very aggressive and we encourage you to compare our port work to other porters port work because not all port work is the same you know we've seen a lot of others other porters port work and you know some good some not so good but ours is on a different level and I'm not bragging it may sound like I'm bragging but I'm not I just want you guys to understand and appreciate the efforts that we put into the port work and why it may take us longer than somebody else. Another porter, you know, another, another company. So we do all of that. Then 
after we do a before flow test, we go through and we port the upper, the lower throttle body tunnel, and then we clean it all out and we flow test again each runner, bolt it together. And we also flow test the throttle body tunnel without the lower bolted together. So you can get a CFM flow on a throttle body tunnel. We do all of that. Then we coat your manifold, either um, the can silver, the epoxy um, um, ceramic tough skin silver, or the ceramic epoxy matte black tough skin silver. We do that free. Okay? Now, since we've been getting a lot of individuals that you know, um, think that they automatically supposed to get these parts coated. Coming up for 2023, we're going to start charging for the epoxy ceramic tough skin matte black. The silvers, we're not going to charge. But for the matte blacks, we're going to charge because that takes time. You know, coating those, we have to tape them all up. We have to, you know, spray them and our materials are not free you know we mix up our tough skin it's a special formula that we mix it's not free but we didn't charge you guys yet and still people wanted to complain so now we're going to charge for the matte black okay and that will be on our new price sheet coming up for 2023 okay so with this manifold this is going to receive our matte black okay this is on this was a previous you know order so the matte black will be free and we're going to do the customer a favor and we're going to fix this for free come in for 2023 all repairs will be charged accordingly we're not doing those for free anymore because customers don't appreciate it you know they think it's we're supposed to automatically do this so whatever our prices are already low lowest in the industry for what we do and our results yet and still you got customers that still complain so you know for all you guys that didn't complain we appreciate it but you guys gotta speak up because if you don't speak up and we constantly getting people complaining about things that we're doing for free we're gonna start charging and it's gonna you know everybody's gonna be affected so you guys have to be more vocal because we're not going anywhere you know um, we're not going anywhere so we're gonna go ahead we're showing you this how we have this isolated actually this one needs to be taped up so let me pause it tape that one up there we go so now that's taped up that way we won't get anybody saying well you know you didn't have tape on that one and the numbers are a little off they're higher no nah, we we do the, we do it the right way because <laughs> you know we have all the critics and skeptics they looking they're looking to try to find any little thing about us <laughs> they have their magnifying glass and you know what? We used to get kind of pissed off about that, but now we laugh at it because we take that as a compliment. So for all you skeptics and all you haters, keep on talking about us. Keep on creating posts. Keep on introducing us to new customers. You know, whether you have good comments or negative comments, you know, keep on doing it because what that does, it allows people to Google search us, come to our Facebook page, come to our YouTube channel to see for themselves. And we get it, you know. You're going to have good customers and bad customers. We understand. With the volume that we do, we don't expect everybody to be 100% happy with what they got. But, granted, you know, we do the best we can with what customers send us. You know, we're going to do videos showing you guys some of the things that customers send us and the conditions that they're in that way you guys can understand the amount of work that we go through with cleaning sandblasting flow test important and things like that you know a lot of customers they want to you know they don't understand that we are pretty much restoring these parts and modifying them important so anyway enough with that <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and um both this together the upper and lower because that's the way we flow them we do not flow 
the lower by itself and say, well, this is what the overall manifold flows. No, we flow the lower and upper both together. So our results, when we attach them to the part, when we give them back to the customer, is a representation of the average bolted together flow, not just the lowers, not just the lowers. Any porter that says all you have to do is port the lower, any person out there that says all you have to do is port the lower, don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about, okay? Because your manifold sees the upper and lower bolted together. I want you guys to understand that, okay? Port this this lower can flow 500 CFM, okay? Let's say this lower flows 500 CFM. Once you bolt this upper together, it doesn't make a difference what this flow, as long as it's not a restriction. If this upper only flows 250 CFM, when you bolt the upper and the lower together, it's not going to flow 500 CFM. Now, I have to explain that, and I shouldn't have to explain that, People should be intelligent enough to know, to understand that. But obviously from the questions and the comments that we see out there, a lot of newbies and rookies, they don't understand that. You have to port the lowers and the uppers together. Anybody that's running lower ported manifolds on a two piece manifold only, you're not flowing as much as you think you're flowing. And a lot of porters will sell you that because they're not trying to give you the most CFM flow that they can. They're trying to get your money, period. Because nobody in their right mind would just port the lowers and bolt on a stock upper. Don't ask us to do that. Don't contact us and say, hey, I want my lower only ported. No, we're not doing it. We can easily do it and take your money, but we're not. Because our whole goal is results, not to take advantage of our customers. So we're going to go ahead, bolt this together, and flow it and see what it does. Now we're back here with the manifold, this Edelbrock Performer RPM2 small block Ford EFI. We have it bolted down, strapped down to the flow bench, and we're going to flow this, this runner right here, and we're gonna see what it does, okay? Well, we already know what it does, we do, but we're doing this for you guys, to show you guys. But we're also gonna do, do something else with this as well, okay? So, hold on a second. Flow bench is on. I'm gonna crank it up. See what we got. So we're about 254, 255. Going to that 24 inches. 254, 255. Okay? Now we're gonna do something different. We're gonna show you guys. We're going to change the pressure. While it's hooked up, and show you guys how our flow bench will calculate. We'll adjust. 254, 255. Now I'm going to change the pressure. So now we're down to 19, still 255, 254. You just see that right here now. The pressure dropped. I lowered the depression, but the CFM is still the same. Still the same. So now I'm going to turn it back up. Twenty-four. Depression. CFM is the same. Twenty two fifty-four, two fifty-five. We're only running four of our motors. Just so you guys can see. Four motors. Okay? This one right here is just four motors. Guys, we have 10 motors now. <laughs> we have 10 motors that can pull some crazy CFM at 28 inches. 
but we don't do that because it's a huge draw power wise and it also creates a lot of heat and it won't change the outcome you guys just saw it i changed the depression right in front of you real time and the outcome didn't change so for all the people talking about depression for all the people that's out there anytime you see somebody do a post about big dogs and the depression show them this video show them our flow bench calculates everything to 28 inches and once again we're showing you this and the outcome was the exact same so I want you guys to start being proactive when everybody's is talking about you know because they find they try to find little things on us they try to find something because they're desperate they're desperate and we get it and like we said people are free to go wherever they want to for their port work but it seems like we get attacked so much we get attacked so much and all we're doing is trying to give the customer the best bang for their buck yet and still we get attacked but you know what we do also we always come back with proof we always come back with proof so you guys saw it 254 255 and this is one of the best flowing runners on this manifold as you see it's a straight shot all the way down no curve and it only flows 254 255 and that's without a throttle body or restriction now now granted doesn't have a radius on there you know but 254 255 for this manifold and you guys have seen on the same bench float the same way using the same setup you've seen our stage two and stage three gt40 um explorer cobra and tubular style manifold results so you guys are seeing this firsthand and for all these skeptics out there for all you naysayers keep doing what you're doing we appreciate your negativity <laughs> because smart people they see videos like this and they say hey these guys are big dogs they're they're hey they're they're, they're backing up what they're saying they may not be perfect they may have a long turnaround time because we're busy and because we do a lot but they're backing it up they're giving the customers a lot more than what they're paying for that's reality not what you know a lot of people are out there saying so I guess if we wasn't as good or doing a good job people wouldn't notice us you know I guess that, that's, that's what they tell me that's what positive customers tell us they say hey big dogs don't worry about the naysayers we're running your parts and we love it you guys keep doing what you're doing the naysayers are only saying negative things because of jealousy or because they can't do it but it's not hurting us at all so once again 254 255 on one of the best flown runners on this edelbach performer rpm2 this manifold averages slightly more than um the system max 2 and when you say slightly more they vary because these are all cast parts each manifold is not the exact same as far as flow wise because you have cast and flash and things like that in there on the inside so you may get a variation between you know five to seven cfm from manifold to manifold so these manifolds perform pretty much the same as a system x2 when given the same setup you know um they're close they're within you know 10 horsepower of each other um um so you just saw this for yourself guys and you also saw our flow bench calculate so we're going to go ahead stage two port this and come back with the part two video see you guys at the track